Well, you know, I remember uh, getting back to track and field. Uh, do you remember the things that your coaches told you? You know, uh, yeah, yeah, were, yeah, take a lap. Who you were, what you're good at. Now, you know, you Spinelli, you are the fill of the blank. Uh, yeah, and uh, one in particular, when I failed to go after a ground ball that I had bobbled, and it squirted through my legs and behind me, and I just stood there sulking while the runners were running around the bases as the ball trickled out into the outfield. Mm -hmm. And I went back to the bench and, and the coach, uh, uh, and I expected the coach to sympathize with my error. And instead, he climbed all over me and hollered. He said, he said don't you ever, I mean, ever act that way again. When you miss a ball, you go after it. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and, and, and stop feeling sorry for yourself. And, uh, There's a lot of us there. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I remember being told by my track coach that I had endurance. And it was a curious thing to be told because I didn't think of myself as a long distance runner ever. Mm -hmm. you know? And of course, a sprinter has to have a particular kind of endurance too, yeah. or, uh, you know, to build up um, the speed by running long distances, it seems to me. That was part mm -hmm. of what the training mm -hmm. was about. But um, endurance, and it seemed like such a a sophisticated word, like a you know, word that should apply to adults. Mm -hmm. They didn't quite know what it meant, but it mm -hmm. seemed important. Mm -hmm. And uh, it really did stick. And I think that I I think it is a I think it is a characteristic that I I kind of own, like to own, like to mm -hmm. um, be able to say mm -hmm. is true of me, you know. Mm -hmm.